Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing and I'm going to go ahead and be trying out some of these products for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what I got this month for August, go ahead and keep on watching. So first thing I got was this Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick in the color Headliner and I already swatched it right here. This is what it looks like for some reason. I don't know why I thought I got a red. Um, I, I did take a peek at some of the products here when I first got my box and I went like this and it looked like red and I left it there and it's actually not red. It's like a pink. Um, and I don't really wear colors like this so we'll try it out but I don't know. This one retails from $21 to $24 which is crazy um, and I just like the packaging. It's pretty small, really compact and... It's just very simple and edgy, I think. Next, we got the Ades New York Age Defying Nail Treatment, and it looks like this. Came in this pink box, which is really, really cute. Um, this one retails for $18. You get such a good amount of product in here, and I already tried it on my cuticles. My nails are like not cute right now. I did try painting them earlier today, but. They're already chipped and nasty, so I'm just going to redo them later on. I tried this on my cuticles, and this has a very, very subtle scent. So if you're someone who's really sensitive to strong scents, um, this won't be a problem. This one's actually, it says it's a sweet almond cuticle oil. Um, so it does have a sweet scent, but it's very, very subtle, like I said. And once you put it on, it's not oily. It doesn't leave a really oily residue where... It's just so annoying and you can't do anything because your hands are super oily and slippery. This one, I feel great. Like, I didn't have to wash my hands. I didn't feel like I had to wipe my hands. It just, it feels amazing and it really does a good job at keeping your cuticles really, really hydrated. Next thing I got was this Bang Beauty. Um, this one says it's the Chocolate Gel Eyeliner. This one, I already did dip into it a little bit because I wanted to try it out for my eyebrows and I hated it for my eyebrows. Use it as an eyeliner, eyeshadow base, or even to touch up your brows. So it's like a three-in-one. It's definitely not a three-in-one for me. This color was way too light, I think, for my eyebrows. And when I used it, it was just, it looked very ashy and it was just too thick of a cream pomade um where it just made my eyebrows stick together and the color was off so it was just a nasty nasty mess and it was too thick for what i like to wear on my eyebrows so this was a no-go for my eyebrows but i will be trying this as a base eyeshadow base or an eyeliner um like they also recommend this one usually retails for 22 dollars next we all got the wander beauty um Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks, and these are super duper pretty. That's what they look like. They just look like that, and you place them underneath your eyes. They're super, super, like, hydrating. When you first take it out of the package, it's all wet. So it is a very, like, gooey, wet consistency, and you put it underneath your eyes. I've never had an eye mask before, which is really weird, so I've never tried one before tried this one out a couple days ago and I actually really did like it um after I peeled them off you're supposed to rub it or tap in the extra I don't know how to call it moisture for a few minutes I felt kind of like I felt it tightening my eyes a little bit nothing crazy it was just a tiny tiny like tightness underneath my eyes and they did feel a lot more hydrated I feel like it really helped with applying my makeup so these are pretty awesome. Um, they gave us three. I already used one, so now I have two left. These usually retail for $13. Next, I got the House of Lashes lashes. This is just the packaging. Mine in the Style Sweet Romance. Funny story, I actually lost the other eyelash. Um, I was going to try it on because I did a look with the Laura Lee Los Angeles, which I will get into next. And I wanted to try on the eyelashes and I just ended up losing it. Um, I remember filming and trying to put it on and I was like, no, I don't think I should put it on. And now that I want to put it back in here with its sister, it's not here. So I don't know where it is. I lost it. Um, I'm not really a lash person anyways, but I actually wanted to try these out because 
I've never tried a house of lashes lashes and these look so pretty they look super duper wispy they're super soft and I wanted to try them out but that's all I have it's usually retail from nine to twelve dollars last but not least I think this one was like the thing that everybody was looking forward to this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles party animal eyeshadow palette uh, mine's already really really dirty and this one retails for $19 and it has six eyeshadow shades let me just go ahead and start by talking about the packaging the packaging I think is super duper cute um, and I like how if you guys can hear that it has like a magnetic thing so that it your eyeshadow won't open if you just like lift it down which I think is super duper smart I actually really do like that about this palette um, and then it also comes with a mirror so yeah here are the eyeshadow shades they are beyond gorgeous I was actually really surprised this was gonna come in our boxy charms because she literally just launched this like I don't, I don't know how long ago maybe like a month ago or less or maybe two months ago I'm not sure but they're frankly new and I'm just so shocked that they're even in our boxy charms because they're new products um so yeah she launched this one and then the boss babe one which i think the boss babe one is super duper pretty but we got the party animal one because life for the party party animal let's party oh also it also goes all the way back here so i really do like that um nonetheless these colors are super duper pretty we're gonna go ahead and be trying them out today because i did do an eye look with this already um so i already did try this out and i didn't like the look that i did like using this the first time so hopefully I get a better outcome with this time that I'm using it personally I just think it's pretty difficult to come up with a complete eye look doing these shade ranges um, especially if you're not you know too comfortable with using colors um, it's all colors so we're gonna go ahead and be trying that once again like I said it retails for $19 which I think is I mean, don't don't judge me, but I think that's pretty expensive for ha having it be six eyeshadows and for her brand. I mean, her brand's not that new, but it's still like not the best, most bragged, known about brand ever. You know what I'm saying? So I think $19 for one of these is kind of too much. They do feel a little bit powdery. They're not like creamy eyeshadows. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do an eye look. Hopefully it turns out okay. Hopefully I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and be setting my eyelids. And I'm just taking some concealer to do this. So I'm not going to be setting my eyes with powder. I'm going to go ahead and be taking damage control, which is this light blue right here. And I'm just taking this on a flat shader brush just to kind of pack it in place where I want it to be. Also, these do have a little bit of kickback in the pan. I'm just going to be tapping it in first to make sure that the pigment stays on there. And then I'll be blending it in. They're a little bit hard to blend, but they still blend regardless. Um, you can tell it looks a little bit patchy. It kind of loses its pigmentation. So I'm just going to be dabbing into more of damage control and trying to pack on the product. I'm going to take a little bit of It's the Party which is like the green yellowy shade and just um, I don't know if I want to do that do you guys see all that freaking yeah I'm just going to be putting this right here towards the 
center. I'm gonna go ahead and be adding some of karaoke, which is the dark blue right here. Let me show you guys the amount of kickback that it has. My desk got super duper messy last time I used it, so and I'm just gonna be placing this color out in the outer corner of my eyes. And now I'm just going to be taking more of damage control and really blending the two blues. So next, I'm just going to go ahead and be cutting my crease. I'm going to be taking It's a Party, which is the yellow, and putting it in the inner corner. it's looking like so far some of bottoms up which is the pink right here it's the party and just putting it same right here in the very inner corner And then I'm going to be taking Hung Over, which is the purple. I just wanted to show you guys the color from the Smashbox in the color headliner, right? Yeah, in the color headliner. It looks like this. Just a very pinky type of lipstick hey guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos um this is what i came up with my overall thoughts on this palette it's definitely not bad um there is a little bit of kickback on the pans and the shadows aren't extremely creamy um you do have to work a little bit with them to blend them out to your liking um but that's pretty much it i mean they're not the best eyeshadows i've tried to be honest i feel like 19 dollars is still a little bit much for six shades especially since the formula isn't the best um however they are good shadows if you're into colors and you like how small this is it's very um, compact, very tiny, travel friendly. If you're totally into that, then I would really recommend the product. Um, but I know that there are other brands that have bigger eyeshadow palettes, a little bit more money, but it's also more convenient because you do get a whole bunch of other eyeshadows in there and it's not just six. So no shade, but I'm just stating my opinion. Um, I do actually like how this look came out. Very surprised this happened because I did use it couple days ago and I hated the eye look and this one isn't that bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.